There's nothing better than a fresh berry pie, and this is the easiest way you can make one. For this recipe, you will need all-purpose flour, one half of a 397 gram package of frozen puff pastry dough that's thawed, a half a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter cup of cornstarch, about five cups of berries, which equals about one and a half pounds, one egg, granulated sugar, one tablespoon of apple jelly. You can also use apricot jam or seedless raspberry jam. Preheat your oven to 475 degrees. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper or foil. Then lightly sprinkle your counter with a little bit of flour and place the pastry on top. Dust your rolling pin with flour. Roll your pastry into a thin circle about 14 to 16 inches wide. It's okay if it's not a perfect circle. Loosely roll your pastry around the rolling pin, then unroll over your baking sheet. It might overhang a little bit. Haul and then quarter your berries, lay them out on paper towels and pat them dry. In a large bowl, stir half a cup of sugar with cornstarch. Taste your berries and if they're not sweet, stir in another two tablespoons of sugar. Then add your berries to the cornstarch and sugar mixture. Mound in the center of the pastry, leaving about a three inch edge that's uncovered. Then fold the pastry over the fruit, overlapping as you need to. The center of the pie should not be covered. Then in a small bowl, whisk the egg with about a tablespoon of cold water. Evenly brush over the pastry edges. Be careful not to let it pool. Then sprinkle the pastry with sugar. Place in the bottom rack of your 475 degree oven. Immediately reduce the temperature to 375. And then bake until the fruit bubbles and the pastry is golden. This will take about 40 to 45 minutes. Loosely cover the berries with a circle of foil for the last 15 minutes of baking to prevent drying. Remove your pie from the oven, then you will use your jam or your jelly as a glaze for the strawberry filling. If you're using jam, discard any chunky pieces of fruit that may be in the jam. Then take it and microwave until it's melted. This will take about 30 seconds. Then brush over the warm berries. Once you've let your pie stand for 10 minutes, it's ready to serve. Cut into wedges and serve it with ice cream or whipped cream. For more dessert ideas, go to chatelaine.com recipes.